no judgment here, friend. All the judgment. Speak friend and enter. <laughs> What's the average word for friend? Barrel. Ah. So, we're Dead bolt. <laughs> Dead bolt. <laughs> Hope everybody out there had a wonderful th- thanks, thanks, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and, and didn't get tra- trampoline, trampoline. <laughs> Trampled. Damn or trampoline. Um, Smushed. So, 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 we're here with uh, an oldie from John Tron, but a goodie. Um, and that's when I had the, uh, <laughs> or however he does it. Don't. Um, Home Improvement but was a show do, 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 back do, do, do. from 95? 95? 95-ish. Uh, Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Had uh, <laughs> Al Borland, who was the co-host of Tool Time. Uh, what was it? Been for Tools. Yes. That's, That's Proud Present. Mm-hmm. That's where um, Pamela, Anderson. Pamela Anderson got her start. Um Contrary to what some might say otherwise, <laughs> uh, that was the birthplace of 1991. The, 1991, eight, eight, eight seasons. seasons. The birthplace Ooh. of uh, Wilson. <laughs> birthplace of Wilson Wilson. Of Jonathan Taylor <laughs> Thomas as That's well. Yeah, he he was on every time you go into the store and look for a video game magazine. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was on. Was it Teen Beat or all those other little yeah. girly magazines? Tiger, Tiger. What was Tiger Beat? I don't know. Sure. I know Tiger Electronics. <laughs> they Tiger, sucked. Tiger Electronic wristwatch game nerd. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Man, look at all these games. <laughs> okay. They just don't make them like cool spot anymore. They don't. If only they knew my yearning for a real game. A game based off something terrible from the 90s starring Tim Allen. That's the one I want. It's only they make a home improvement video game. Oh. Okay. He <laughs> wishes mm-hmm. granted. Home improvement. All the memories <laughs> just come flooding back. It was a television sitcom back in the 90s that started the Oscar Goblin career of Tim <laughs> Allen and surprisingly the television career of Pamela Anderson. What? <laughs> or whatever we just said. I said. It was uh, a show. One of those concoctions of a 90s moral culture and family-centric importance. Yeah. Like most shows of this caliber, the cheesy level was somewhere between family matters and full house. Mm. And if you don't pass full house, I seriously think you just disappear into the void. Uncharted territory. Look. Yeah. Aside, the main point is, they made a game out of this? Like, really? I understand that back then if they had a face that made a freaking game out of it, but really? Home improvement the game? I mean, for shit's sake, have some restraint. That's about as good of an idea as making a first person shooter out of Sister Sister. Ah, my favorite publisher absolutely copied Sierra's logo. <laughs> set of tool time, you know, that weird show that Tim Allen had in the show that totally would have been a viable show in real life. By the way, I, I would pay to see that shit. I'd sit in the splash zone. <laughs> it's called This Old House. So seriously, it's just been talking to this one swanky look from the coolest club in town. Did I say swanky? Let me just go ahead and rearrange that. There we go. So like, they just talked for like five hours. Seriously, look how long this dialogue is. Back at base, they're like, okay, our demographic is kids. Now, what are kids like? How about a series of levels where Tim Allen explores the true depth of his love for his family and wife? No. Crickets. Oh, Crickets. fuck it. Cool time I've seen. Quit that shit. So, as all great storylines go, someone steals the tools he needs on his show and leaves him a cryptic serial killer message that if he ever wants to see this tool again, he has to go back to the Stone Age. I can't even believe. Oh, where's the Pillsbury Go Boy Award? Paul's blessed with uh, all you very the one, the one we're real kids. So naturally, that means the set next door is in the Stone Age. Okay, yeah. it, could, it could be worse. See, I've seen worse. So immediately he's doing this annoying shit. Just like immediately he's doing this. Whoa, hey, jeez, man, I don't remember ordering any jalapenos on this pizza. What's all this? He's got like ten different. Dazzling moves, and I have no 
what you'll end of them do. <coughs> just so sparkle. I mean, the graphics are even so far. Just look at this. This is ridiculous. Just like every Sonic game. I never once in my life thought I'd ever be making Tim <laughs> Allen scoot along on a jackhammer. You get different weapons and use them with a hand. That's basically all I'll be using. None of this dazzle sparkles, you know, like... So as you may have guessed, the spinning maybe legs. Maybe going to be dinosaurs. Yeah. I mean, after all, first thing I think of when I think of home improvement is dinosaurs. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> have you noticed not that mama. I review things about dinosaurs a lot? I swear to God. We've not watched a one. This is what you might call a coincidence. This time as well. I mean, I picked this game because I wanted to see what I would get from a home improvement Super Nintendo game, and I got dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be crazy if I said this isn't what I was expecting. It's just like when you see a spider mob in an MMO or a skeleton enemy in an RPG. It's like, wow, how long did it take you to come up with that one? You're really breaking new grounds here, guys. So basically what you're doing here is going around and collecting scattered crates because they were too late to make a real game. There's like five or six or eight on each level. <laughs> the problem is, you don't know where they are, so you gotta navigate this completely repetitive and mind-bending landscape to find them. And yep. most of the time, you just end up running in circles all over the damn place. You can usually tell how blatantly terrible a game is going to be if it's made like this. With the whole collect X and Y level before reaching the exit sort of thing, it can be done well like in Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, and in fact, that may be the finest example of this format. The way it was done in Mighty Max and in this game are the completely wrong way to do it. <laughs> Come to think of it, this game is an awful lot like Mighty Max. Like, wow, really a lot. I guess this was just the good old formula for making a game suck back in the 60s. <laughs> Respect these enemies I was talking about, they impossible! <laughs> they make sure that no matter what you're doing, when you're doing it, you're gonna be getting hit by something. It's freaking infuriating! You get hit by a dragonfly, you fall, you slide backwards and red, you end up getting hit by a projectile and trying to dodge a pterodactyl shit eggs and you end it's everywhere! It's <laughs> feel like you can dodge enemies in a game. Another big problem with this game is you can't rush through it like you can in Mario or Sonic or Donkey Kong. You, you gotta play it like surgery, or you're going to die. A lot. You would probably be disgusted if you knew how many times I died just on this first level. I've never made it past the first level, to be honest with you. Let's go down here for a second. What did I see? What am I seeing here? Well, no, what am I not? Is this, Golden is this right now, at this moment, as Tim Allen, <coughs> from Holy Moon, <coughs> using a lightsaber chainsaw to fight the erector? Okay, so, like, you gotta find the boxes, but what else? Sorry. That shit is a classic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else notice this bird can talk? What the fuck's that about, right? 
<laughs> Mark, how about Aquaman? Aquaman? Uh, we have a litany of John drawings to go through. We'll be fine. Oh, Lydia. <laughs> All right, so next time we got uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge episode 37. Yeah. We'll see you then. Yeah.